What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 40 minute back, biceps and cardio workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's do it. What's up guys, so excited that you're here for week three of our four week YouTube challenge. This officially starts day one of our third week and we're gonna hit the back, the biceps, and a little bit of cardio conditioning at the end. I'll explain why when we start our warm up, but it's very intentional that these next couple weeks you go hard on your strength training and you go hard on the cardio ending to our workouts, okay? We've got dumbbells today, of course, back and biceps. Today I'm using 20 pounds, 15 pounds, and eight pounds. You'll be doing things like, of course, bicep curls, single arm hammer curls, okay? So curl weight will be appropriate, and then rows, of course, so that's why I've got the 20s. We'll do some single arm, we'll do some together. And then the lighter weights are gonna be for the back flies. Okay, so whatever you feel comfortable with that. With, with that exercise, um, I'm going, like I said, 20 pounds, 15 and eight. Just grab some options and be ready to push yourself whenever you know what the exercises are and you can bump that weight up, okay? Let's go ahead and get started with a quick warm up, and then I'll explain the methodology to this workout, okay? All right, big wide stance. I want you to take your left arm and reach up over your head to the right in three, two, one, let's go. Reach and switch. Get all the way over and reach as far as you can and then come back to the top and switch. So weeks three and four of this workout, it's gonna get intense, okay? I know you guys know that I was an athlete and I always incorporate strength training into our workouts but there's an intentional reason that we're doing first half of the workout strength training, second half of the workout cardio of some sort for the next two weeks, okay? We're gonna be isolating. Good. This feels good, huh? We're gonna be isolating back and biceps today and finishing out with our cardio because in terms of, go ahead and cross your body over and back, over and back, in terms of how we get to that fat burning phase or how we get to the part where we've used up all the stored energy in your body and then we resort to the fat cells, this is how we do it, okay? As far as strength training, your body's preferred source of fuel for strength training is glycogen, stored glycogen, backwards arm circles. After we use up all that glycogen with your strength training, which is what we're gonna do for the first part of the workout today, your body will resort to using fat cells for its preferred source of energy. That's where we enter into the cardio part, forward circles. Okay, so we're gonna burn up all the glycogen with your strength training, and you have to do that by going hard. You have to push yourself, go heavy, so you really use up the stored fuel that you have eaten, okay? All right, come on into a downward dog position. So let's walk it out. Okay, I want you to cycle your head up and back. All right, so basically, we're using all the fuel that you get from your food, Okay, that stored glycogen or stored fuel in your body. Once we've used all that up with our strength training, we're going into the cardio, and that's when your body switches to the only fuel that it has left, fat cells, okay? So trust me on this process the next two weeks. We're gonna really ramp it up so you can really see some incredible results. Because I want that for you. I know you want that for yourself. Science-based, research-based, programming, we're gonna get there together, guys. All right, walk it back into your toes. Hang out right here for just a second. And I want you to wiggle your hips left and right. Got some cardio at the end, so we're gonna warm up the legs a little bit too. As far as our workout program today, how we're gonna do this is supersets, a bicep exercise and a back exercise. Okay, we've got five different supersets. Slowly, come on up. Five different supersets. Pull your heels to your glutes. One back exercise, one bicep exercise. After we're done with our five supersets, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, then we're gonna move into your cardio. Same thing, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest. We've got seven cardio exercises. So just so you know what to expect. Just know you're working for 45 seconds today. That's the perfect time under tension to really get those long, lean, strong muscles. All right, one more big wide stance. 
Wiggle your hips side to side, and we're gonna jump into it. Your first superset is gonna be a bent over, underhand row, I'll show you really quick. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my medium dumbbells. You're gonna turn your palms facing me, okay? Hinging forward at the waist, and you're gonna pull right to the side of your rib cage, squeezing your shoulder blades back. Okay, let's start together in five, four, flat back, three, two, one, let's go. Underhand row. And you'll notice I'm not going fast here. In the strength portion, I'm focusing on quality of rep. Okay, am I executing in every rep a squeeze and control? Okay, you have to be able to answer yes to that. Otherwise, speed on strength workouts isn't what we're going for today. Squeeze, release slowly. You've got 15 seconds left. Great job. You're gonna keep this same weight for your bicep exercise. It's coming up in three, two, one, rest. Okay, bicep exercise, we're going together in 12 seconds. It's gonna be alternating hammer curls, okay? Palms are facing your leg, coming right up to your shoulder, and relax, okay? Two, one, let's go. Curl, and curl, right to left. As far as your body goes, I want you to think about your shoulders and your abs, okay? Shoulders are back, so you're not curling here. You're up and back. Your abs are tight, so that on the way down, you don't let your body do this, right? Keep it tight. Shoulders back, abs tight. Shortening that bicep each rep. Keep your elbow right beside your rib cage. Something I see a lot in bicep curls is people bring their elbows up like this. Okay, it turns into more of a shoulder exercise then. But keep your elbow down, keep squeezing that bicep. Two, one, rest. Okay, drop the dumbbells down. We've got two more rounds of that superset. Underhand rows and hammer curls, okay? Whew, do a little shimmy, four seconds, three, Two, one, underhand. Flip your palms forward, hinge back, let's go. Exhale on every pull. Feel the shoulder blades drawing back together. Right around your spine. That's it. Come on, 15 more seconds. Good job, good job. Good. Five, four, two, one, rest. You can drop your dumbbells down, relax your hands for a second. I know you're holding on to dumbbells for 45 seconds, so hands will be a little tired. Drop the dumbbells down in between. Four seconds, we're going back to hammer curls. Ready? Let's go. Grab those dumbbells, elbows pinned to your rib cage. Shoulders are back. Really think about the muscle that you're making stronger right now. It's called mind muscle connection. Okay, focus there. Make sure you're not using momentum to swing your dumbbells up like this and this. Okay, keep it slow and controlled. Squeeze tight at the top and then release. Seven seconds. Almost done with this superset, guys. We're gonna go one more round here. Two, one, rest. Drop them down. You've got 15 seconds to rest your hands. One more round, underhand rows. Okay, think of that nice, defined, sculpted back. Okay, this is how we're gonna get it. Three, two, one, let's go. Last round. Feel the squeeze at the top, and then release. If you feel that you're not getting all the way up, like you can only get to about here, drop your weight. I want your quality to be better than your quantity. Elbows back, there you go. You get driving your elbows right behind your shoulder blades. That's it. Come on, we got it. 15 seconds. Let's go. That's it. 
that's it. Squeeze. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good. Drop them down. Whew. Shake the hands out. I know your forearms. Definitely doing a lot of work today as you hold on to these dumbbells. So if you feel it here, normal. Okay, they have to get stronger too. Hammer curls in two, one. Last round. Let's go. Shoulders back, abs are tight. Try not to squeeze your dumbbell. Okay, I know that's pretty common. You start trying so hard that you're like, ah, come on, dumbbell, right? Just relax your hands. Hold on, but don't squeeze unnecessarily hard. Think about the bicep. Elbows right at your ribs. Shoulders are back. That bicep is shortening each rep. It's contracting all the way up. 10 more seconds, you can do it. Good, three, two, one, and rest. Whew. Okay, great job. Drop your dumbbells down. You've got 40 seconds to rest, and then we'll move on to our next superset. So first one is done. Okay, big deep breath, I'm here with you. We got this, okay. Next one is gonna be single arm rows. Okay, so you're taking the one at a time, neutral grip, so hands are facing each other, not underhand like we just did. One at a time, bent here, and then you're gonna drop that weight down to a wide bicep curl, okay? So let's take it first, single arm rows. Two, one, let's go. Sit your dumbbells right on the top of your thighs, row and row. Good, you can kind of feel it out the first round. See how 45 seconds feels with this weight. If it's too easy, at the end you're like, mm, could have gone up a little bit. Definitely do it. You know how I feel about that. Always be challenging yourself in life and in fitness. Step outside of what you think you can do. Challenge yourself to what you think you may not be able to do. Good, four, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so the wide bicep curls look like this. Okay, in 10 seconds we'll go together out to the side. Okay, I drop down in weight, kind of determine which one you want to use. We're gonna go in two, one, let's go. Elbows are still right on your hips, right at the side of your ribs, so they're not coming up off of your body, right? They stay down. Your bicep's only job is to bend your elbow. Okay, and that's what's happening in these curls. You're not lifting your elbow away, you're just bending it. I find that sometimes as a trainer, just saying things in a different way makes it click for some people, right? You think the sole job of the bicep is just to make your elbow bend, maybe that clicks a little bit better for you in terms of technique. But not a huge motion here, the only thing moving is your forearm. Closer to your shoulder and back down. Two, one, rest. Okay, so on my first round of single arm rows, I think it was too light, so I'm gonna go up. If you feel the same way, go up with me. Okay. Don't have to increase the speed. Two, one, let's go. Just focus on quality. If your muscle can handle more, challenge it. Do it, do it, do it. Good job, good job. Strength is so important, guys. Helps get us through workouts injury-free, and it helps us in a functional way too, right? Taking groceries inside, picking up kids, picking up furniture, whatever it is, getting stuff out of the bottom cabinet. So functional, being strong is so important for living a healthy lifestyle in general. Five seconds. Squeeze that shoulder blade back, come on. Rest, good job. Okay, back to our wide curls. Round number two, last one of round number two. I think I'm gonna go up to my 15s. Open your hands out to the side. Here we go, two, one, let's go. Shoulders are back and relaxed. Okay, make sure you're not here. 
Open it up. Control it down. Don't let your hands slam back onto your legs. 30 seconds. Whoo, there we go. 15 seconds. Challenge yourself. I'm doing the same thing. It's burning. We got it. 10 seconds. Just a little shaking, a little burning. We're all good. Four, three, give me one more. Two, one, rest. Whew, okay. Meow cheese. One more round through. Shake your hands out. You're doing great. Okay, back to the single arm rows. Five seconds, go ahead and grab them. Let's do it. Two, one, here we go. Let's work. Row, row. Squeeze it back. Even think about keeping your chest forward, right? <sighs> Elbow drives back behind you. Don't worry about your chest, okay? Keep it right where it is. Just think, drive that elbow back. Squeeze your shoulder blade right over to your spine. You got 15 seconds and you're done with single arm rows. <sighs> That's it, come on, pull, pull. Four, three, one more, two, one, rest. Amazing. Whew. Okay, whatever weight you can keep that quality of reps on for your wide curls. Last set of wide curls. Whew. Let's do it. Even if it slows down a little bit, push yourself. Let's go. A way to modify here, take it one arm at a time. Okay, if you just need to slow it down a little bit for a second, just do one at a time. Keep your wrists strong. Okay, don't let your wrists when you come up fold over like this. Okay, keep it strong. From your knuckles down to your elbows, it's a straight line. Strong wrist, bend that elbow. Whew, 15 seconds, I'm right here with you, come on. Here we go, seven seconds. Shorten it, shorten it, come on. Three, one more. Two, one, and rest. Whoo wee. All right. Great job, you've got 40 seconds of rest. Woo! Shake the hands out. I know you're holding these heavy weights, your hands are tired, forearms are feeling it. You're doing great. I decided to get a, a bottle without a screw on lid, thinking that might save me some time what I'm trying to demo for you guys. So, got a new water bottle. Um, okay, next one, alternating wide rows is your first one. Take it with the lighter weight. We're targeting posterior deltoid, so this little muscle right in the back of your shoulder, and of course your rhomboids. So, tinier muscle group, okay? We're going here, out to the side, drive the elbow out and up. Ready, let's go. Out, up, out, up. Pretty far out away from your body and normally when you get a weight farther away from your body you drop it down a little bit so I'm here at the eight pounds and back I want you to think about it. at the top of the rep do you feel that squeeze yes Here we go drive it back good give me ten more seconds out and up keep that chest lean forward Four, three, two, one, rest. All right, your next one, just normal bicep curl. So turn your hands over, curl, and relax. I like to put my elbows right on the front of my hips so I know that I'm not flipping my elbows back here. They stay out front. I'm curling out front like a rainbow arch to my chest. Ready, let's go. Again, shoulders up and back. Move your elbows at your side. Just bring your dumbbells right to the top of your shoulders. Okay, you check over at me real quick. Here's what I'm doing. Here's what I do not want you to do. See how my elbows are away from my body? Keep them locked right here. There you go. Woo! <laughs> 10 seconds. 
We're on circuit number three of our strength training portion. We've got five circuits, so let's keep rocking. Two, one, amazing, rest. Drop your dumbbells, shake your hands, stretch the forearms if you need to, pull your fingers back towards your elbow. Sorry, I know my elbow is double jointed. That's gross to some people. <laughs> Just pull your fingers back towards your elbow. Okay, back to wide rows in two, one, let's go. Hinge forward, out and up. Out and up. Feel it right behind your shoulder blades. You guys doing okay? All right, if this is too easy, bump that weight up. You don't wanna be just like hanging out here. Okay, bump it up. Take your time. Squeeze the abs in. Good, out, up. Let's go, keep on rocking, 15 seconds. Out, up, come on. Seven seconds, pull it back. Two, one, great job, rest. Okay, drop the dumbbells for 15 seconds. Front curls, again, don't let your elbows leave your body, keep them here. Bend, bend, three, Two, one, let's go. Good, good, good. Good work. Keep breathing nice and big. There you go. Last 15 seconds, pull your abs in. Let's go, tall spine. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, drop it down if your back is getting a little tired. Just kind of arch it out. Okay, we've got one more round. Wide rows. Whew. All right, here we go. In two, one, let's go. Out and out. Good. That's it, keep driving. Up, down, up, down. Good job. Fifteen more seconds, come on, we're right there. That's it, that's it, come on, come on. Four, three, two, one, rest. Whew, great job, last round of your front curls. We're almost there, okay? Whew. Five seconds, take a big deep breath for me. Four, Three, two, one, let's go. Curl, relax. Weight that you can control, but a weight that pushes you. That's it, come on, come on. Good, good, good. 15 more seconds, let's go. Breathe and pull. That's it. Give me seven. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Whew. Grab some water. You're doing awesome, guys. We've got one more set of back and biceps, and then we're moving into that cardio finisher, okay? Very first exercise on the back um, back portion of your last set is going to be a back fly, and that's where you're more than likely use that lighter dumbbell set that you have. So same thing, hinging forward here. You're going to squeeze back. Okay, I want you to go both arms at the same time on this one, so you can feel those shoulder blades really pull back. Okay, let's go together in five seconds. I'll tell you what your bicep exercise is when we get there too. Two, one, bend forward, and let's fly. Good, 
Good, good. 20 seconds left. Squeeze back from the back. We're gonna squeeze hard behind your shoulder blades. Okay, keep rocking with me. Got seven seconds. Good, good, good. Rest. All right, your next exercise for the biceps is gonna be a slide curl. You're gonna think of the end of your dumbbell drawing a line right up the side of your body. Okay, so start beside your thighs. You're gonna slide it up to your ribs and back down. Notice how your elbows go back and they come back forward. That's what we want here, okay? It's called a slide curl. Just sliding up the side of your body and back to the floor. Ready, three, two, one. Let's go, draw right up the side, right back down. I want your elbows going straight back and then back to the front. Okay, it feels a little awkward, but it's a really great bicep shortening exercise. Okay, on the side, here. If it feels a little better to have it a couple inches in front of your legs, that's okay too. Just know you're not coming up and around, you're just drawing a line straight up as your elbow shoots back. Okay. Give me 10 more seconds. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Great job. Woo. Okay, back to round two of your back flies. You guys, we're doing great. Stay with me here. Okay, shake your hands out if you need to. We're going together in three, two, one, back fly. Let's go. Fly, control it down too. Don't let your arms get here and then just slam down, okay? <laughs> Easy to do that. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. That's it. 20 more seconds, let's go. Squeeze them back. I know I keep saying squeeze them back, squeeze them back, but that's all you gotta think right now. Two, one, rest. Okay, back to the slide curls. Again, just drawing right up the front. Elbows are going back and forth. See how your elbow is bending? Here and up. Okay, let's go together. Three, two, one, let's go. Bend. Good. And if you're not really feeling it on this one, just go back to your regular curls, but really try to do that slide curl. Okay, shoot your elbows back, bend the elbows, and open. There you go. 20 more seconds. Whew, great job. You got eight, seven, Good job, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Okay guys, drop them down, we've got one more round. If you can advance the weight on either of these exercises, do it. This is the last two minutes of strength here, and then we're gonna jump into that fat burning part, our cardio finisher. Okay, three, two, back to your back flies for one more time, let's go. Fly, fly. Keep squeezing, squeeze, relax. Nice, strong back. Visualize it, right? It's okay if you start to make an ugly lifting face. <laughs> it's all good, I'm doing the same thing. Just close your eyes and think. Strong back. Squeeze. Come on, eight more seconds. You can give me a couple more. Four, two, one, rest, Woo. Okay, drop it down, shake it out. We've got bicep slide curls, and then we're moving into that cardio phase, okay? You can do this, we've got it. Woo. Three, two, one, slide curls, let's go. We 
give up pulling it right up to the side of your rib cage. Keep your head up. There you go. Strong wrists. Anyone else getting the Elvis slip right now? <laughs> I feel it. I can feel it rising up on my face. Whew, it's all good. Whew, almost there. Let's go. 12 seconds. Squeeze those biceps. Seven, six, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, you've got 30 seconds rest, and we're gonna go through our seven cardio exercises, starting off with kick punches. Okay, we're going for a forward kick, punching with the opposite hand. No jumping on this one. Kick punch, kick punch. Right here, I just want you to go fast, okay? Don't worry about jumping and coordinating and all that stuff. Kick, punch to your opposite toe. Two, one, let's go. So you get a little core rotation in here, right? Core is turning, great for the abs. Also great for digestion. I don't know if you guys knew that. But anytime your torso is rotating like that, like in a Russian twist, speeds up digestion. So if you're ever feeling like you need to speed up your digestion, I would challenge you to do some Russian twists, some stretches where you're twisting, your hips and your ribs in opposite directions. Sorry if that's too much information. Just trying to help you out. <laughs> one day you might need that. Three, two, one, rest for 15. Whew, your next one, three snowboarder pulses with a twist. So you're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, bouncing, if you don't bounce, one, two, three, step turn. Okay, ready? Let's go, cardio. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. As you get the rhythm, pick up your speed. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good job. Three jumps and switch. Good job. 20 seconds left. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here we go. Come on. 10, 9, 8. Let's go. Twist. 3, 2, 1. Rest. Take one of your dumbbells, preferably a smaller one. Place it right in the middle. Okay, we're going to go agility. Hop it over and back. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Hop, touch. Hop, touch, and then speed that up. There you go. Work your arms. If you're modifying, step, touch, step, touch. Okay, just give me that tap on each side. Come on, work it, work it, work it. We're almost there, guys. Don't slow down, this is that fat burning time. I need you to keep it intense with me. Whew, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one, rest. You can move your dumbbell out of the way. 15 seconds, we're going into high knee jumping jacks. Taking one knee at a time. Drive as you lift your hand, and then speed that up if you can. Here, two, one, let's go. So drive and reach, drive and reach, speed it up. You can bend your arms just a little bit so they get overhead a little bit faster. That's it. Are you giving me all you got right now? Yes? You better be, come on. Give me all you got. 20 seconds left on this one. 15. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven, six, five. Burn it out, come on. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. Next one, 
I'm gonna say that I love it so much just so I convince myself that I do mountain climbers. Okay, hands are down, two different levels. You can give me a drive, drive, drive. If you need to slow it down, touch, touch. Ready, let's go. Keep telling yourself you love mountain climbers so much. They're your very favorite exercise. You guys can tell I'm just kind of like rambling off my own thoughts to you right now, right? <laughs> you love mountain climbers. You love mountain climbers. Whew. Come on. 20 seconds. Let's speed it up a little more. Go, 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 go. That's it. Nine, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Hallelujah, those are done. <laughs> All right, the next one, we've got good old burpees. We're gonna go all the way down to the floor, chest to the ground. Okay, looks like this. All the way down, lift the hands, all the way up, hop. Let's go. And when you jump up, try to take your feet out wide. Okay, so that's a little easier to stand up and hop. Okay, if you bring them in here, it's kind of awkward to get up. So, land with your feet nice and wide. Give me 12 more seconds. Up, up, up. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Whew. Good news, we've got one more. <sighs> Take a big deep breath. You're giving me a 45 second sprint. High knee sprint. Whew. Three, two, one. Let's go. This is it. Right here. Last 45. Every 10 seconds, I'm gonna tell you to turn it up. So, turn it up. And turn it up a little more. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Pump those arms. Turn it up a little more. 15 seconds. Pull the abs in. Drop the arms. Go, go, go. Five seconds. Go crazy. Go, 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 go. Two, one. And rest. Okay. I'll give you a second. I may or may not need a second. Okay, hands on your knees if you need to breathe. Open up those lungs. And make sure you do not skip the cool down. Ready? Here we go. Come on up. Take your fingertips touching together. Open and close right here. Whew, a little tight, right? Just breathe, okay? I know you went hard today, and I know you should be proud of yourself for that. Trust in this process. I promise I'm not just making this stuff up for you, okay? It is carefully calculated so that you can follow along with me every single day. I'm not gonna repeat body isolation movements day after day, okay? You can follow this channel right along with me. I upload in a way that is good for your body, good for your strength, good for your conditioning, and it's not gonna injure you from overworking one part of your body, okay? Of course, if you're just starting out, reach overhead for me with your left hand, pull it up over top. If you're just starting out, maybe start two or three days a week. And when you feel good with that, walk in between those days, and then maybe add another day in, okay? Just take it where you are. You don't have to, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. If you're just starting, pepper in these workouts with some good cardio and most importantly, Good nutrition. Switch arms. So day one of week three complete officially. All right, go ahead and have your hands right on your thighs. Shoot your hips back and I want you to slide forward. Place your hands on your shins. Nice flat back for me. 
just breathe. Like I said, to recap, while we're gonna go so hard in these next two weeks, uh, because I want you to see the best version of yourself that you've ever seen. And that doesn't have to mean, oh my God, I lost 30 pounds, right? It can mean you feel better, you're confident, you're more confident, that's huge, right? Your blood work is better. You're off your high blood pressure medicine. You're progressing in a way that you care about what you're eating. Okay, you're finally finding something that you can be consistent with. Switch legs. You're finally enjoying your fitness journey, right? There's so many ways that you can predict or that you can display, I should say, progress. Of course I want your body to be the leanest, fittest, strongest body it's ever been. And I want your clothes to be looser. I want you to feel stronger inside and out, okay? But make sure you don't let that scale determine whether or not you have made progress. I don't even weigh myself anymore. I can tell by the way my clothes fit, by the way I feel strong, the way I don't feel strong, okay? If I'm leaning out or not, can I see more definition in my body? Do my clothes fit a little looser in certain areas, okay? Take a big deep breath for me. And let it out. You have finished three Week three, day one workout, back biceps and cardio. Tomorrow, we're gonna go right back at it, so make sure, like I said, stay consistent, stay prepared. Prepare, get your gym bag ready, get your shoes and socks, sports bras, whatever, uh, compression shorts, whatever you need, get it ready, get it in your gym bag, or lay it out for having in the morning. Get your food ready as well, so temptation doesn't strike you and just throw you totally off track. Stay consistent by trusting me, I'm gonna show up every day for you. Show up for yourself, okay? show up to be the best version of you. All right, week three is officially underway and I'm so proud of you guys. If you're still looking for a way to feel more like a part of this community, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Every single day I upload and every single day you guys comment underneath, which is your cue to do right now. I crushed it, okay, go ahead and do that. I crushed it with the little flex emoji. That's where this community comes in. Someone asked me the other day, how do I join the Sydney squad? You just subscribe to the channel and you jump in and do these workouts with us. And then below the workout, scroll all the way down to the bottom where comments are, check in. That's my way of holding you accountable. Check in and say, I crushed it. I love this move, didn't love this move. I feel great, I feel strong, whatever you're feeling, okay? Thank you guys so much for supporting us. Dustin and I are so glad to be on this journey with you. If you wanna grab your Sydney Squad shirt, description, info is in the description. Make sure, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, all right? I will see you again tomorrow. Have an awesome day.